Hey viewers, today we are going to talk about the movie The Incredibly True Adventure of Two Girls in Love. Maria McGenty wrote and directed the 1995 American comedy drama film The Incredibly True Adventure of Two Girls in Love. Randy Dean, a 17-year-old student in her senior year, has lousy grades, only one friend, Frank, a gay Latino, secret cigarette and marijuana habits, and works as a cashier at a petrol station with Regina. Other students shun her for her tomboyish personality and appearance, so she spends the majority of her free time alone or in illicit meetings with her romantic partner. Wendy, a married woman who visits the gas station whenever she wants. Despite Randy's knowledge that they are in a dead-end relationship, Randy lives with her lesbian aunt Rebecca and her partner Vicky, as well as Rebecca's ex-girlfriend Lena, who has nowhere to stay and is staying with them until she finds somewhere else to go. Her mother abandoned Randy to dedicate her life to the anti-abortion cause. Evie Roy isn't sure if her tires need air when she pulls over in a spotless Range Rover one day. For the first time, Randy talks to her after recognizing her from school, living with her wealthy and sophisticated mother Evelyn. Who has a strained relationship with her remarried husband is Evie the only child although Evie doesn't tell her snobby friends She and Randy begin exchanging notes and spending time together in school at the petrol station during this time Randy is confronted by Wendy's envious husband Ollie who grabs him and tells her to keep away from his wife Randy and Evie hang out in Meadows most of the time conversing and exchanging music Evie's opera and Mozart Randy's punk rock the next time Wendy sees her, Randy tells her she has a new girlfriend named Evie and rejects her. AJ, Evie's boyfriend, gets upset with her for being cold toward him, and they break up. Later, seemingly at random, she gives Randy a copy of Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass, which he immediately begins to read through. One evening, Randy invites Evie to supper at her family's modest home and tells her that she has lived with Rebecca and Vicky ever since her fervently religious mother left her to give her whole attention to a group like to Operation Rescue. Their first kiss occurs on the front steps of Rebecca's home. Later on, Evie writes it down in her diary, perhaps pondering its significance. At a nearby diner, Randy and Evie anxiously hold hands as they test the boundaries of how out they can be as lesbians. Despite being aware of Randy's caution about the town's intolerance, Evie tells her three closest friends the news. The other two girls are against the notion. One even says, God, Evie, if you were going to turn gay, you think you could at least choose someone who's pretty, before they all depart, including the one who is supportive. In the meantime, Randy conceals from Rebecca the fact that her grades are steadily declining and the school has informed her she won't graduate. When Evie's mother goes on a business trip, the sisters use the chance to cook a large supper and indulge in wine and marijuana. That night, they make love before falling asleep in Evie's mother's bed. The next morning, it is Evie's 18th birthday. Evelyn arrives early with gifts for her, but is taken aback by the chaos in the kitchen and the rest of the house. Furiously investigating the upstairs, she discovers Evie and Randy, but only realizes Randy is a girl when she runs past her on her way out. Rebecca, who has learned that Randy will not be graduating from high school, heads over to Frank's house with Vicky and Lena, where Randy had informed them she would spend the night. Rebecca confronts Frank until he panics and hands over Evie's phone number. She phones, but Evie and Randy have already fled, leaving her to speak with a furious Evelyn. Evie and Randy, sobbing, afraid, and accusatory, seek sanctuary in a motel. Randy eventually contacts Wendy, who comes out, pays for the accommodation, and attempts to console the girls. Ollie, on the other hand, notices her car in the parking lot and rushes in, attracting Evelyn, Rebecca, Vicky, Lena, Frank, and Evie's three pals, who were driving by and reading aloud from Rita Mae Brown's Ruby Fruit Jungle. Obviously still absorbing Evie's news, the film concludes with Randy and Evie kissing and hugging in the open motel room doorway while everyone else shouts loudly in the background. Thank you, 